So my name is Celine Ross, uh, as you can see now uh, on the screen, but I'll remove it because I really want you to see well what I'm going to teach you today. Okay, so today we're going to um, work with the foot that exists since long time, but we neglect we neglect it and now because the holiday is coming and we're preparing our uh, christmas gear for uh, or uh, uh, other um, other uh, holidays okay so it's time to take it out of the box and uh, use it so french foot has two use it can be functional and it can be decor decorative Okay, so I'll switch the camera. Okay, and okay, you see, okay, yes, I'm seeing, uh, I'm seeing good. Okay, so this is the fringe foot. It's not the snap-on. We have high shine and low shine, but it's exactly the same foot. Okay, the shine is this height here. So before you um, you order it from uh, your dealer, make sure you give him the, the right uh, sewing machine model, okay? So I'm using today the M7, and what I'm showing you, it works for every, every Janome model, electronic, non-electronic. What are we using? We're using a zigzag, simple zigzag, and an over, should I say overcast, this stitch here. Over edge, overcast, okay, from our machine and a zigzag. And today I will use also the triple stitch because I want to show you a few variety of uh, versatility of the foot. So what I did here, you remember we use this panel to do uh, sequence, uh, attaching to uh, couching, two thread, three thread. But you know, after we did something, we did one of technique, we can embellish it with fringe. Two type of fringe, loop and cut. Okay, you see here, it's like it needs a, needs a not a haircut, but it needs a, a comb, okay? Loop, cut, very easy to do. So this is not a mistake here. I'm just showing you my zigzag. So what are we going to use? Stitch length, stitch width, lock stitch, absolutely. And a variety of uh, thread. So this is a Janome thread, red, okay? Because Janome is red, of course, it has to match my fabric. Huh? And I use um, Madeira thread from Janome also. Janome Canada um, uh, is a, a distributor of uh, those threads. So I use the polyester and the cotton and you see the result. You'll see the result, okay? Okay, so this is my plain zigzag with a regular F foot and with the fringe foot. So I did it here just to show you without doing the technique, just to show you what's gonna happen, okay? And I'm using my overcast, over, uh, overcast foot or serger, uh, uh, not foot, um, uh, serger, uh, stitch, stitch, okay? And I'm playing with my stitch land and we're gonna have fun mixing those two together. Okay, so this is the panel that I'm that I work with. I will I will not I will use something else to work. Now you're going to say, what is this? What? Is, how come? How come? It's, it's it's ugly. It's not nice like this one. Well, I'll show you. If you don't listen to me, you're gonna end up with this. And if you listen to me, you're gonna end up with that one. I'm, I'm teasing. Okay, you know that. Also. You remember, you can use the foot by itself, but you can add it to a previous technique that we did. You remember last week what we did? Applique, okay? So you see, 
I add fringe all the way around with different thread, cotton thread, polyester thread. I didn't put anything here to make sure that, that you remember. I said that they're going to say, oh yeah, that's true. We did the applique. And with the Genome thread here, loop, not loop, cut, not cut. It's very versatile, I should say. Okay, so I'm going to start with attaching the foot. So the foot has this little um, metal piece. Oh, this way you see well. This metal piece. And you know, Genome machine, when it changed the, it, the, the, the width, the, you know, to do a, a zigzag, the machine has to stitch on the left, on the right, on the left, on the right. But while it's going, it's not going down when it's changing. It's going up and go back down, up, go back, down, up, go back. So this is why there's no problem using this one, this uh, foot. So I'm going to attach it and to prevent, to prevent any damage to your machine, every model of Genome, not just the machine I'm using today. Make sure all your feet, well, this one is a, it's not a snap-on, okay? But uh, when you change a needle and when you change your foot, make sure you use the screwdriver because our hands are not uh, strong enough huh, to, uh, to uh, screw very, um, very tight just with my fingers, okay? But the vibra vibration, if I don't use my screwdriver, well, the vibration will lose the needle or the foot. You don't want this because th then there's an accident. What's the accident going to do? Break the needle. It's not that bad. You know, you change the needle. But if you break it on your foot, you can damage the foot. You can damage your needle plate and you can damage your bobbin case. So you don't want this. Huh? On top of that, you know, we go slow. So I have a little, I have a little exercise, uh, exercise uh, piece of fabric this is just to show you uh, just to show a few things okay so i'm choosing my zigzag i'm moving the camera okay i'm choosing the zigzag but by choosing the zigzag it it's not what i want huh? so i'm going to change my stitch width to the maximum of my machine so some, you, I do the maximum of my machine to show you today. I could do five millimeter if I want, six, seven, whatever I want. Huh? And I don't want my stitch to be long like this. I want my stitch length be, uh, we'll start at 0.5. If I'm not happy, I will short this. So this is a zigzag. I'm going. I'm going full speed, full speed, but I'm going to old start stop. Even if I do this, I'm sure you, you see well. I want you to realize what's going on. See how slow it's going and I'm full speed. So all the Genome electronic machine has this functionality. Until you keep your finger on the start stop button because I don't, I don't use a foot control, okay? When I let go, it goes slow, I'm sorry. I let go, it's going to speed up. So you know it's good to, uh, but now I'm going to slow down because I want you, look how square, square the needle is going. So there's no danger with that foot. And also, you know, the, the, the foot are made by, uh, by Genome technician. Huh? So they're not technician, they're engineer. And I'm going to use my lock stitch button. Every decorative stitch or zigzag stitches from Genome. Start with the lock stitch and at the end you have to ask the lock, lock stitch button. Okay? Now, what do I do? It's finished. I cannot pull. Look, if I do a close-up, my stitches are still on the uh, on that little wire here, piece of metal here. So, I push it at the back. I use my thread cutter and I'm okay. I can pull out the um, the fabric. 
So this is my starter thread. I'm going to remove it. And this is my stitch. But it's not strong enough. Look, look at the back. Okay? Look at the back. It's not secure. So if I cut my thread, everything will fall apart. Or it's going to do loops like this. You, when you pull the thread, or you know, it's not secure. So what am I going to do here? I'll change. Yeah, I need a, a screwdriver. I'm going to attach my F foot. F1. I don't like F2 for this because the um, the um, loops will 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 be cut in here. If you have an iron, oh, you see exactly what I told you with the, with the tip of my scissors. So what I want to do with my finger or an iron, okay, I'm pushing on one side because this is not strong enough. How can I make it stronger? Okay, triple stitch and short the stitch length. I'll do 1.5. But I will move my needle to the left. You'll see because I'm, I want to use the side of, okay, put down. And, and I want to sew right into the middle. Huh? So I'm moving my, my needle to the left. Okay, I want to catch everything up, make sure. Okay, I want to catch. So I want, what do I want to do? Triple stitch is very secure. Huh? I want to stitch the beginning here. You see, I'll slow down because I want to make sure I put my stitches down, you see? my fringe down to make sure and I'm sewing one end lock stitch at the end cut the thread cut the sewing thread okay so this is the beginning of my uh, this is a mistake okay so here's my loop if you want Whoops. If you want your fringe to be cut like this, you know, to be cut here, you can cut your fringe on the right side of the fabric. You see? Look at this. Either foot I'm going to use, either stitch I'm going to use, it's the same thing. Okay, I'm cutting here. So it's cut, except maybe once in a while. It's a bit messy, you know, and sometimes you have some longer than the other one. And on the, uh, on the wrong side of the fabric, uh, and I forgot to tell you, you have to stabilize your fabric, yeah? or I use Terial Magic or Tear Away Stabilizer. And this, you know, I can, whoops, my foot is gone. Can you believe this on the floor? It's, it's a bit messy. Okay. So this is one technique. The other technique is, let me get my foot, <laughs> which is on the floor in front of everybody during a live. Okay. Okay. Now, let's make it, I shouldn't say easier. This is not the right word. It's, it's another technique. Let's say you want narrow, so a narrow fringe. Maybe you prefer to use this technique. If you want wide, maybe you prefer the other, the technique I'm going to show you. This one is easier because it's only one operation. Always hold your Hold your fabric. It's always like this, always a bit messy because we cut, okay? This time, I'm going to use this overlock stitch, okay? I'm going to make them closer. I'll try, I'll start with 0.6 or even 0.5, it's nice. 
but you have to decrease your tension. Okay, I'm doing 1.6. You can try 1.5. Always depend of your um, of your thread and your fabric. So again, foot down. I'll go slow. See. Ah, well, they're slow and slow, huh? <laughs> okay, you see? And then it's going good. Okay, let's go. Ah, it's too close. So I go 0.6. I, I let go my machine. You, you think it's not going, but uh, the needle is moving a lot, huh? And it's going to be really dense. If, if you use a thicker fabric, you have to... Uh, change your st stitch length for a longer stitch this time i'm going to do not a cut fringe a loop fringe you can do it also with the same uh, either foot e either technique see the loop here you can curve also if you want huh? i just curved before and at the end i'm using my lock stitch button Okay, again, I have to wait. It's cutting my thread because I asked the machine and you see my threads are still on top. Push it to the back. Okay, and then this goes over. Okay, this is my start, the thread from the beginning. And now I want my loop. I don't cut on top. I don't cut on the right side of the fabric. I will go under the fabric, on the on wrong side of the fabric. And I will cut near my sewing. My sewing is, see, how did I do this? Like that, okay. I don't wanna cut the wrong one, huh? Okay. On the same one, I'll do two techniques, so you'll see better. So I'm going just underneath. It's easy to go underneath because I I uh, remove the uh, I, no I um, my thread tension. I uh, loose my thread tension. It's here. So you see, see my loops. Look at my loop. Okay, and if I don't want my loop, I'm coming on my. I better remove them all i don't want to make a mistake okay and then i want the cut fringe well on the right side of the fabric there's many varieties so you see loop no loop see the loops i hope you see well maybe if i do it ah yeah now you see well see the loops and here it's cut so it depends where you want to cut them and the effect you want to give. If you want, you see here, I did a curve just to show something else. You can curve. If you want to do multiple row, then you have to push and clean and do right beside the second row, third row, fourth row. You keep going. Uh, sometimes people use this for, um, to, uh, you want it to, you want your stitch look like grass. Or you can add around an embroidery. Let's say you embroider a lion. So you can do his, uh, well, his crinière is, uh, I would say his hair, but it's not hair, I know. But I don't know the word in English, okay? So you see, you have two, two different uh, ways of having your loop or your cut fringe, okay? This stitch is secure because it's sewing at the same time. It's locking every stitches. Okay, another thing I'm going to show you with that foot. So I told you before, this uh, foot is uh, functional. So let's say you have a dart and you want to do your, um, I wrote it down, I'm sorry, your, your tailor bridge or tailor tack. Okay, so with this foot, it's easy. If you have one dart, of course not. But uh, you know, if you have uh, the bust line and the waist and the, hey, sometimes uh, uh, do it by hand. So what I do here, 
just my zigzag again okay large as large as possible with your machine and whoops no let's say that close and you don't need so many so you just go over the your 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 mark and i'll go slow look your machine is locking the stitch by itself it's pre-programmed like this by genome so you don't do 20 yeah okay and then lock stitch lock stitch at the beginning and lock stitch at the end at the beginning it's automatic at the end you ask you removed you remove your okay and then you open it i did some before you open it you cut in the middle and you have your there you go so you see you have your mark it's always messy no my camera is not okay so you see it's always messy because we cut we cut thread okay another thing i would like to show you do you remember a few weeks ago with thick thread we did the uh, fagoting okay if you have thick thread let's say you don't have thick thread at home let's say you have only thin thread well there's a way to um not to cheat to produce something else okay i like this one look 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 how nice it is look maybe if you have white underneath look how nice it is so what i do i need my spacer do you remember one day we use this my zipper that i keep all the time okay right in the center stick it to make sure that i I'm, i'll be even all the way down okay so my fabric is for you need a fold huh? my fabric is fold my two fabrics are fold and if you want if it's too soft starch and i'm asking my zigzag but with a longer stitch what was the okay 1.5 i'll leave it at 1.5 if i don't like it i can change and then, well, I'll reduce because I have to, uh, I'll reduce my speed because I have to. So you see, it's catching just, yeah, 1.5 is okay. It's catching just each end. And it leaves a fringe on the, on the, on the top. But you'll see. Now, I'll, then I need two stitches to do this, okay? Then you'll see my other stitch almost at the end lock stitch cut the thread okay remove my spacer okay and then look at this but it's not finished so if you look at it fast ugh, what is this but if you open it wow okay let's finish it. the finishing touch now so i'll remove that foot attach the f foot so the technique this technique it's called fagoting always make sure you lock it good always your thread in the thread holder and this time I'll change for a feather stitch. Feather stitch is this. There's a few, you know, you choose whatever you want. But you'll see the nice result. Okay. This time, we'll have to sew apart. I'll reduce my speed, lower my foot. And the fringe, the opening has to be in the center. You know, you have this red arrow uh, on the foot here. So it has to be right in the center of the foot. And you go lock stitch. And as you go, it's going to twist the thread together. 
you'll see how nice it is. So you see, I open the seam or the fringe, call it the way you want. Okay, I didn't change, I didn't do any change to that stitch. I didn't change the um, the length or uh, the the width. I'll let it go. Keep going, almost finished. I don't want to go that fast because you have to to open it, you know, while you while you're sewing, and you have to make sure that your needle catches each side of the of the fabric. I'm up to the end, lock stitch, cut the thread, and you'll see the nice result. Cut the thread. Whoops. Hey, look at this. It is like the, the second stitch twist around, twist around, look at the two sides. It's like it's twisting, attaching all my loose fringe thread together. So you see, uh, and the work is even, even, really even. Oh, am I good? <laughs> I'm, no, I'm happy. Okay. And of course you need an iron, huh? Okay. So this is a little bit what the, uh, the foot is, this foot is doing. So I'll turn the camera. Um, I think it's here. Okay, I hope I did okay. Yeah, okay. So this little foot, it's an, I, I'm sorry, I have an old box. Mm, did I do it right? Yeah, I did it right. Okay. So, um, you know, camera teaching, uh, uh, treading the machine, da, da, da. Whew, it's a lot. Okay, you're always not secure, huh? So, this is just a few little things that I'm teaching you, that I showed you, not teaching, showed you, okay? It does more. Where do you find the ideas? But first of all, Janome, specialty addendum feet. No, this way, okay? So you have five pages that you can, uh, uh, to explain how to use and gives you idea about that foot. And again, huh, you have the um, presser foot book, but in the presser foot book, this foot is not there. It's in the, uh, really in the addendum because they're specialty feet. So this I really recommend. Also, you have Pinterest. Also, of course, on Janome uh, uh, website, for sure you can find some ideas. And just for you to know that I work with the, uh, Madeira thread, and since since you since we make our gift, well, it's it's personalizing. It's uh, you won't find this in the store. I hope they don't copy us. Okay, so um, you you can put this everywhere: garment, home deck, a little gift that you give you made. It's nice and make sure you lock at one end, depending of which stitch you're, uh, you're using. So until next week, I wish you a good sample, good practice as usual. So I'm saying good. Oh, am I okay? Yes, I'm okay. Um, no, I'm okay. I don't think I have something else to, to, to think. I have to think, but I think I told you everything. Make sure, oh no, I told you everything. Zigzag, I told you everything. I'm writing because uh, sometimes uh, it's going. So I thank you everybody for watching and uh, I'll see you next week. Bye-bye everybody, have a good week.